Greetings everyone and welcome to Batocera Nation. So today we're going to look at the scraping system that Batocera uses and I'm going to offer some tips and suggestions on what you can do to get the most out of the scraping system from Batocera. Now the very first thing that I would do is go to this website. Okay, again I'm reposting a, a link in my description on YouTube uh, so you can go there directly. So this is like one of the main scraping system that Batocera uses right now. The other one right now is, is the games database. I know that with version 30 they're going to have some more uh, scraping systems as well. Okay, but again this is like the main one and I discovered this the hard way. I would highly suggest and encourage you to go ahead and create uh, an account uh, because if you have a lot of games and you don't have an account it's going to limit you into how many images and videos you're going to download as it's trying to scrape uh, your all your ROMs, okay? Uh, if you have an account, and maybe if you even support them financially speaking, uh, one euro, two euros, five euros, ten euros. Ten euros for American viewers is about uh, twelve dollars. Five euros is about six dollars. And this is per month. And so you might want to support them financially until you've got all your ROMs scraped, okay? And then from there you can just discontinue supporting them. I want to also make it very clear that I don't have nothing with them. I'm not getting any, any payback for doing this. It's just as again, it's something I discovered on my own that was just the best way to do this, the most effective way and the fastest way, again, was to create an account and maybe even support them financially speaking. So you can see that they have a whole bunch of uh, ROMs uh, in this, on this website. Uh, uh, images, description, uh, videos, uh, snaps that you can use for your bato setup. So again, first thing you should do is go ahead and create an account. Uh, and once it's up in the account, then we can go ahead and load up bato setup. So next segment, we're going to load up. I will have bato setup loaded up. All right. Okay. So we got bato setup loaded up, and let's go to Sega Genesis. Okay. You can see there that we have Sonic the Hedgehog game, but we got nothing scraped. So let's go ahead and scrape that game. Press start. And then you'll see scrape. Click on that. And that's where we're going to be scraping from. And notice here, right now, we only got two of them. Again, we're about to set a version 30. There's going to be more. Uh, but again, this is like the main one so far. Box source, I like to, I like to choose box, 3, 3D box. Uh, videos. Yes, you want to turn that on because you want to download video snaps. If that's what you like. And then, of course, you got fan art, manual. Other things. Okay, here again. If you already created an account with uh, Screen Scraper, go ahead and enter your username and your password. And after you've done all that, go ahead and scrape. Now, press that. Here, filter missing media or all games. If you've done it for the first time, you might as well go ahead and do all games. Otherwise, you only want to just do it for the missing media system. You can select all the game systems you have, and it will recognize you got ROMs for all different emulators out there. So, if you're doing again for the very first time, select all of them. Okay, but right now I just want to do Sega Mega Drive. So, one for this one, I, I tend to use, I tend to say yes, because if it's a conflict and the system doesn't know which one to pick, you can tell which game to pick for the correct ROM. Okay, so I say yes, and then go ahead and press start, and it's going to do it. Yes. Hit it. Uh, press A. Okay, so it already downloaded the image and the video snap for Sonic the Hedgehog. So let's get out of that. You can see it's there. Um, let's go back to all towers. You can see the video there is missing. Let's say you had trouble downloading the video or you couldn't find a video snap. Uh, and you know there's a way to do it. It turns out if you know that, for example, you have your own or you can go to YouTube and download a video snap for the game itself. There's a way you can manually add it and do Bato Sera. I'm going to show you that. But first thing is first, let's just go ahead and update the game setting, right? Go ahead, go ahead, update it. All right. Okay. Let's get out of this. Go ahead and press F1. Okay. Let's go to my portable drive. And there I have the video snap for all towers. So I'll go ahead and copy. Go to ROMs. 
go to Mega Drive, go to Videos, Let's pretend it's not there, and just go ahead and override it. All right. Let's go back up and let's go to game list. Okay. All right. This is the file where all the information for all the different games is going to be stored. Um, so we got Son of Hedgehog there. Right. The name, the actual name that you want to see appear on the screen. The description of the game. You can change that if you want to change that image. Again, if you have your own image, you can pick the right image. Uh, here's a video snap. Okay. Thumbnail. Okay. So you can see here in all towers, it doesn't have a video snap. So you can add it. Just go here. Let's go over here and add it. Keep the same format that you see here. It's the same exact format, right? So video. Videos. Old towers mp4 make sure the name that you have copied into the video folders is exactly the same uh, uh, name with the same capitalization okay otherwise it's not going to find it all right close that up video And it's done. Okay. Save it. Quit it. Close it. And then go ahead and press start. Go ahead and game settings. Update it. And there it is. Presto. Right. Again, if you want to change the old towers image that you got there, you can also change that. Okay. That's the way you do it. All right. Next segment, I'm going to be talking more about the emulators themselves and how you can customize the emulators to get them to best suit your computer system. Okay. So we'll look at that on the next video segment. Thank you for coming and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. See you till next time. Bye.